Dr. Oshaman, now we will move on to the second question. You know, the disease management uh, of all the spectrum of disease has been changed, a shift to change to the phenotypic uh, based uh, management and uh, even diagnosis and, uh, and, and, and the way that we manage that. So how relevant is phenotyping of acute kidney injury clinically as well as the, the prognostication wise? Subphenotyping of acute kidney injury is absolutely essential. So the term acute kidney injury describes a syndrome uh, of hundreds of different people with different uh, types of acute and chronic illnesses and different types of acute kidney injury, and also in need of different forms of management. And uh, acute kidney injury is never the same in two people. And to make progress, the only way to make progress is by uh, subphenotyping, which uh, simply means finding out the underlying cause of acute kidney injury, uh, getting insight into the pathophysiology, and then managing patients accordingly so that we prevent progression and, uh, in some patients, uh, non-recovery. And I think the, the fact that we haven't done any subphenotyping so far is the main reason that we've not made any progress in therapies. We've got no therapy for acute kidney injury, but it is uh, likely that there are individual therapies for particular types of acute kidney injury, hence the need to subphenotype. Thank you so much. Uh, future is always uh, bright to get uh, precision medicine or personalized medicine. This phenotyping definitely will help you to reach that goal. Thank you.